Today I am going to share how I installed macOS Sequoia on my old unsupported Mac without using open core legacy patcher. As you can see, macOS Sequoia is running smoothly on my Mac and surprisingly everything is working. My graphic card, sound card, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sleep mode and power management are all fully functional. Plus I can now run apps that were previously incompatible with my Mac due to OS limitations. So what does this mean? It means I can enjoy macOS Sequoia on my old Mac without modifying system settings or interfering with my current OS. Since I am not patching anything, I can easily upgrade to the latest version of macOS Sequoia whenever a new update arrives. So, how did I install macOS Sequoia on my old Mac? What can I use it for? And what are its limitations? I will explain everything. The story starts when I needed to create a document. My first idea was to download Microsoft Word. However, there was a problem. My Mac operating system did not support the Microsoft Word. I needed at least macOS 13. No worries, I thought I could just use Apple's own Pages app instead. But guess what? I ran into the same issue. And this time it was even worse. I could not download Pages without upgrading my operating system. Now I had three options. The first option was to check my App Store account. If I had previously downloaded these apps on my Mac, I could get the last compatible version for my current operating system from here. But since I never downloaded them, this option is useless to me. The second option is to log in into a new Mac using my Apple ID, download the apps there and then go back to my old Mac to download the most recent compatible version of those apps from the account section. However, the problem is that I do not have a new Mac. Yes, I could temporarily use a friend's laptop, but for security reasons, I was not comfortable entering my Apple ID on someone else's device. So that option was out too. My third option was to use the Open Core Legacy Patcher. Open Core is an amazing tool that lets you install a newer macOS on an older Mac. But upgrading my entire operating system just to use a few apps that did not seem like the right solution and in my personal experience apple official os runs much smoother than a patched version so what do i do i found a better solution for this situation i have decided to install macOS sequoia on a virtual machine however can i install the latest version of macOS on an old mac using a virtual machine will it run smoothly Let's find out. So I download macOS Sequoia and Parallel Desktop. Since I only checked macOS Sequoia, the trial version of this app is more than enough for me. If you would like, you can also use other similar applications like VMware, UTM, etc. The process is straightforward. Create a virtual machine to install macOS Sequoia. If you use the same application, you can follow along with me. I will fast forward this process to save your time, but I won't skip any steps to ensure a better understanding.
Now that macOS Sequoia is installed in our Mac, let's check how smoothly it's working on our old machine. Next, I will use my Apple ID to download apps from the App Store. This will allow me to access the most recent compatible version of these apps on my older macOS. So, if you want to explore the features of macOS Sequoia or run apps that are not compatible with your current operating system, using a virtual machine is the best option for you without affecting your existing settings. However, if you plan to use macOS Sequoia regularly, Open Core is the recommended choice. I hope this gives you a clear understanding. For more Mac related content, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.